Hey there everyone and welcome to episode number six of Hey Paula Help Me with my DIY project. Today we're going to be talking about picking the perfect color for your front door and how do you do that? Well, we have several questions and Melissa's going to help me here. Melissa yes. Osborne is my co-host. So many people struggle with this topic. Oh, I know. We see it in our group all the time. Yes. So it's definitely a pain point. We want to help you work right through the the question mark there. Sure, and uh, I want to give you my tips. Of course, this is not everybody's all, everybody's cup of tea, but I'm going to give you the basic principles of design and the theory of that and how maybe you can apply those somewhat rules and uh, you can break them if you'd like to your house. You do whatever <laughs> you want. If you want a hot pink door, I say go for it. But if you want to kind of have, uh, keep all the neighborhood HOA happy. <laughs> uh, all the design you, theories yes, and all that good stuff. I, I will give you what I personally, these are my personal choices there again, uh, that doesn't mean that you have to go by what I say, but I'll give you good ways to help you select if you want to have something that's more apropos for your neighborhood. I'm going to tell you how you should go about selecting that. What's and, that word? Uh, apropos. What's that mean? Meaning, uh, if you want to have something that's copacetic, I'll give you another good one. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that everybody's going to like. <laughs> yeah, keeping uh, keeping in the right channel. That yeah. one, maybe you should say that. Okay, uh, but first let's read a review real quick and then we'll dive yeah, into it. I feel you chomping at the bit to talk. You like talking color. I want color. to talk about color. She you know that. So I uh, thank you all for yeah. ranking us and yes. giving the, leaving these reviews has helped us be ranked number two in the DIY and education. And we're on podcast. episode six. It's so amazing. Yes. Well, that must mean there's not a lot of them out there. But so. hey, we'll take it. A win's a win, right? <laughs> That's right. So leave us a review. And yes, we're gonna read one. Go ahead. Yep. So this one, uh, this week's winner is from. Um, username Tess D129, and she says, The Queen of Paint. I'm so happy to see Paula has started a podcast. I enjoyed listening to the first episode. Great DIY tips and Paula's natural humor made for a great 30 minutes. And I look forward to all that's to come from Paula and Melissa. Well, that is awesome. That's thank sweet. you, Tess. I hadn't heard that one. So thank you so much for leaving us a review. And of course, you win a $25 gift certificate. And uh, reach out to Melissa at htpaint.com and collect your gift certificate and that leaves another review. You may be you may be selected even again. So Yeah, I don't think you're limited to one. No, no, no. just yeah. leave another one if you like another episode. Certainly leave us a review. We'd love to hear from every single one of you out there and also leave us questions if you uh, have something that you're struggling with, we would love to help you tackle that. Yeah, give us and topic ideas for sure. We need that. We're <laughs> going to run out of ideas soon. I feel it coming on. You, so no. <laughs> Well, no, I'm probably not going to, but uh, things you all want to hear about, that would be the other portion. So, uh, all right, let's just all start right, off so let's here. Jump let's in go. Here. Let's, all right, so what are the things we need to consider when we're looking at the exterior of our home and we're trying to choose colors like for the front door? What are the things we need to be looking at and taking into account? First and foremost, absolutely first and foremost, is so many people, I will say this because in the group, we're collectively talking to uh, half a million people. And every single one of those people will say, help me pick out the color of my front door. And they will get up 10 feet from the door and take a photo. Well, wonderful. Yes, it's a slab of wood you call a door and you can see somewhat of the side of the house. But here's the problem with that. People view your house from the road. So the main important thing is the roof, believe it or not, the roof will de denote what is actually chosen for the facade, meaning the brick or the siding. And all of those things have already been put together, whether you built the house you chose them or you bought it already. Someone had a lot of painstaking effort going into selecting the right roof to go with that brick or that vinyl or if that If you've ever built a whatever. house, you know how painful that <laughs> That's is. That's right. Yeah. You tried your best to pick something tonally pleasing. So now the front door has to be judged from the same perspective, from the road. Get out there at the road and look back at your house and go, does it need a light spot there or a dark spot there? Is the house pale? Does it need contrast there? Most of the time that's going to be the answer and it will always relate back to the roof. In other words, if you have a very dark roof um, and you have a mid-tone, let's say for your brick, meaning somewhere in the middle, it's not a light color, not a dark color, but it's a shade of brown or what have you, uh, you're going to find that you might want to uh, pick up something that is richer or darker and that's all going to depend on how basically that your house is built. Is your door sitting on the face of the house and it doesn't have any uh, roof or covering over it so it gets a lot of sun and or is it covered with a porch? So if it's covered with a porch and it's dark back in say the alcove where the door sits, you would want to think you want to paint something bright and light. That's a good place then to resonate back to the window color. The frame of the windows are generally white, they're bronze, sometimes they're black. The very new trend is the oil red bronze or the black windows. If that be the case, 
Think about the uh, how many colors you're putting on your house. That's another question that we have mm -hmm. coming up here. Yep. But we'll talk about that here because you don't want to go over three colors on your house. And the roof is one of those colors, the actual facade of the house, the brick, the siding, that's number two. The windows is number three. Adding that fourth color is really uh, giving it a little bit too much color. Your house isn't meant to be a colorful uh, canvas. It's supposed to be something that blends into nature, that's going to sit into the scenery around it, the landscaping and those things. Bring color out in your uh, accessories on your porch, your plants, your plantings, your pots, maybe a rug, maybe a wreath, those type of things. That's if you like hot part. pink, that's a good place that's to bring exactly it in. exactly right. Now, yeah. rather than painting actual structural things, it is exactly equivalent to a colored toilet and shower in your bathroom. It's best if you love color, don't put in a red toilet, just put in a red <laughs> rug. Put in a neutral <laughs> toilet. It's the same exact principles that you apply to the inside you apply them to the outside. It makes living in the house so much easier when your ideas change. And now all of a sudden you're gonna to have to get on a ladder and paint all the shutters because you painted them light aqua. You were in an aqua, you were in your aqua mood or mode. And now all of a sudden aqua ain't looking so hot. And you're going, hmm, I'm gonna to have to change or have my husband change all of the aqua that I had to try to make him fall in love with last year. So what you think about is maybe painting neutrals on your shutters and the shutters and the door need to follow the same color theory. They need to be the same in my opinion, uh, unless you're painting your door white or black, then um, it doesn't necessarily have to follow the shutter colors, but sometimes it's- I still uh, think they look better when they do. They do, they do, uh, they certainly do. So, it just makes the house look very clean. I, yeah, it does, it sure does. So think about that bathroom, kind of take those same rules of the road and apply them to the outside of your house, meaning don't go painting permanent fixtures, colors. And now you can throw everything I just said out the window and go buy orange for your front door if you want to, yeah. because it's your house and you do you. And some people have white siding or white brick. That they just, do. That leaves you open to a little That's more right. options. And the great thing too now, most roofs are not solid black or solid brown. They've got a little variety. They've got a little variety. So you might be able to pick up a color that's in there so it, you know it complements that, mm -hmm. that kind of doesn't make it look wild. Like yes, exactly. Gone crazy. If you've got a lot of texture, you've got a textured roof, textured brick, and those kind of things, and then you start adding colors into that, especially from a, the wrong color palette, meaning you've got a warm house, warm brick, warm roof, and now you start putting clear colors uh, from a cool color palette on your house. Like you're cobblestone really, on a red brick house. You're really going to screw it up, and I hate to say that. I hate to use those words, but uh, you need to think in those terms. Warm colors. If you have a warm house, pick warm neutrals to go on your shutters and your front door. If you have cool tones, which is very rare, in other words, if you have a white house or a gray house, a gray roof that doesn't have any of that earthy wood tones underneath, the weathered wood color of a roof is also going to be kind of in the middle of the road, but it's still going to trend toward the warmth. If you start painting cool tones on your house, you'll see they just stand out like a sore thumb. And it won't be long that you will see after you get over the idea that you've just got new paint and you like it. <laughs> all of a sudden you're going to be looking at it and say, mm, I'm not sure about that now. Something, you know how it is when you paint something new for a minute, you go, I like that, I like that. It looks great, it looks fresh, new, clean. Then once you get over that, you yeah. go, ooh, I'm not sure about that. I might have picked too cool of a gray and now it has a blue undertone out here in the sunshine. So yeah. think of those terms, think of those terms. You know, it was funny, so what you talked about with the roof and kind of making your door look very recessed, I put Abby on mine, which was a perfect compliment to the roof, but yes. I felt that. I felt like it looked like a little bit of a black hole yeah, kind of right. recessed in there. Mm -hmm. And you got a little porch. And I got a little porch mm -hmm. and not a lot of light. So then I thought, well, I gotta brighten it up, but I don't like bright colors, so I went Mediterranean. You know I love Mediterranean. Exactly. It's one of my favorite colors. And I thought, well, I love that. Now I it's don't, too hot. I don't like it. It's too hot. <laughs> I gotta paint it for the third time. So, so think of it in these terms. I think it's the best way, if, if you wanna think of it like this. When you pull up to the house, what's the first thing you wanna see? You do wanna see the front door, but do you want the front door to be a jarring, shocking color? Or do you want it to take more of a um, simple, look to the house. You don't want to be the first thing you see. You do want to overall see the whole vision and then something needs to draw you in. And is it a bright, vivid door? In my world, I would say the answer to that is no. I'm going to paint my door something sedate and I'm going to draw you in with a pretty wreath on that door or something jewelry, yeah. hardware on the door, the kick plate that yeah. you added, mm -hmm. right? Those type things. Yeah. Um, that are, that's going to give me that 
glitter and that jewelry to the door that I'm going to maybe notice the door more. But I don't really think I want to make it as shocking. Uh, I don't want to be the one walking into a room in a hot pink gown in the middle of a Black farmhouse wedding. <laughs> yeah. You go into a sedate wedding and you walk in in a neon something dress. That's how that feels to me. Mm -hmm. All eyes on you. I don't really want to do that. Yeah. So that's kind of the same yeah. thought process. Yeah, when you see a pretty woman from a distance, you mm -hmm. notice how put together she is mm -hmm. before you notice individual features typically. You know? So if she has on that neon dress, you're only looking look at, at that her. dress. I'm, I'm not noticing her. her. And instantly mm -hmm. I can't see her face or anything. I'm just seeing that dress. Yeah. You know, I'm not I'm not looking at all the other great things about her. Uh have you ever noticed high fashion? Most of the models wear very little makeup and most of them wear very simple garments um, because that's what it is all about. It's about the person, right. See that, seeing the simple of the person. Mm -hmm. uh, having headshots made, first thing they do is say, strip down, no makeup. Right. They don't want to see you all made up. They want to see you in your simplicity. So they, they know they can doll you up from that point. So that's kind of the front door. Don't necessarily doll it all up. Everything needs to jump off the page. Just kind of keep it sedate. Put some beautiful things out there to draw the eye in. Pots of greenery, beautiful flowers, and uh, seasonal things. And maybe, you know, Christmas and Halloween decor. You can doll it up in. But just yeah. give it a blank canvas to sit against. Her a blank, simple. Simple, simple canvas. Yeah. Like this one behind us. <laughs> uh, the only other thing I had on my notes that we didn't cover was storm doors. So if we're painting our front door black, does our storm door need to be black as well? Well, they painting need a match? storm door is, um, uh, you know, that's pretty difficult because there's a lot of little uh, edges and all Glass that. You got to really beat this paint stick and paint those doors. And they're not inexpensive you know that already they're very expensive the full that the full glass the full view glass ones are not cheap um so i would say this if you have a beautiful full glass door uh, paint the door your door behind it the same color or a neutral going on behind it say you have a black full view glass door that has a black frame and some trim maybe brass most of them have brass trim mm -hmm. on those expensive ones and a brass handle and i would think that if you bought black art for this house already you probably should paint your front door black behind it. Uh, now, could you imagine painting your door red behind that black door? It'd look uh, very sports teamish to uh -huh. me. <laughs> like a little like a Spanish Armada, uh -huh. maybe, just a bit. <laughs> so think in those terms, it's not gonna show up much anyway when the glass is over it because it's gonna be reflective. So just make it a nice clean uh, for your for your guest coming through the front door, if you're like me, hardly ever use that door. So when they come in, just make it kind of very clean and come through the same color of the door and that you enter into. So keeping them together or neutral. If you had a black one, you could paint your front door white, something like that. That's that's how I envision it. Yeah. Painting that glass door is an option, but it's not a fun option. It's a lot of glass to trim around. A lot, a lot of little tiny areas. Yeah. About a one inch frame all the way around that thing to mm -hmm. paint without getting it on something you shouldn't paint. So, if you got a lot of patience, you can paint them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about stains? So, I didn't have that on my notes, but if we're going to stain the front door, because so many people are wanting mm -hmm. that wood tone look on their front door and bring that into their garage and all that, how do we choose proper stain color? Same deal, right? We're looking Same deal. So, Same deal. if our house is warm, we want warm tones of stain. Definitely. And right. if you're using all in one stain, of course, uh, those gels type stains are great options for maybe you have a fiberglass door and you've had it painted for years. And now you'd like to see it in something a little more wood tone or a little more earthy. And, you know, that's a very much in tr trending right now is everything back to nature. So if you've painted your front door, you can certainly make it look like wood by using all in one stain. It comes in eight different colors. So there's a gray, there's a warm gray, there's a cool gray. There is all the shades of brown yep. with red undertones and some without red undertones. So check them out at our website at All in One Paint. And you can see the whole stain category there. It's a fabulous stain that will, wow. uh, yes, it absolutely, you know, it's become one of my favorite products. <laughs> I try to tell myself every day, we don't need to do another demo on stain. Guess what we're doing today? A demo on stain? A demo on stain? <laughs> we're working on that table some more. <laughs> okay, there you go, see why? Well, see, she's um, in an instant good mood now. <laughs> instant good mood, yes, that's right. I'm, I mean, I have my hands in paint every single day in some form, so having them in stain is uh, just another layer making it fun. This product doesn't require that you do any sanding and no top coat over it. And uh, 
You don't have to take away the old base coat. So if you've painted your door, you can go right over it with stain. You can use a um, graining tool if you want to create a grain or just take a rag and rub it down. We have all kinds of videos and you can see those on YouTube here as well as on our Facebook page and Instagram. You can see those in the tutorial and section and a website. Yes, it certainly can. So check it out. And also, while we have you here, join our community yes. on our website. We're going to be starting and, contests here really soon. Yes, we are. So you can put your projects up there if you've been using all-in-one paint, painting a kitchen or whatever, a piece of furniture, leather, it doesn't matter. You can enter into our big giveaways and they're going to be happening every day. You can also vote on your favorite ones as well as vote on your own. You can vote it for yourself if you want to. <laughs> Nobody's going to know the difference. Get your friends and your neighbors you sure and your neighbor's can. sister's mom and all that. It's not illegal. The community. We, we, we want everybody to come. Yes. So you can just jump right over there, invite your friends, and uh, let them see your projects. And they may get interested in even or something themselves. So if you're just hearing us for the first time, we hope you go to our website, check out All in One Paint, get yourself a free sample of our products. Simply by paying that $6.99 shipping, we'll ship you the color of your choice to try. You can paint your front door with, with, our with that paint. sample. Yeah. Yes, you're also going to get our color card, so that'll help you choose for future projects any color that you uh, might want to put on, try out later. So uh, I hope you check it out, and again, leave us a great review here if you liked what you, you heard. You might be next week's winner. There you go. You sure might be. So uh, stay tuned for our next episode of. Hey, Paula, help me with my DIY project. We'll have another great subject for you. And again, leave us something here in the comments below if you have a topic you'd like for us to cover. We'd love to get in there and uh, see if we Answer can help you. Answer questions for you. If you yeah. have a question, surely somebody else out there might as well. So thank you all so much for joining us here. We can't wait to see you all and be giving us a listen right here on our <laughs> podcast. We'll see you all soon. Bye.